Hello everyone, today we're looking at step two of creating a drawing through line. With the fairly strong winds that are suddenly upon us, um, I've decided to use the magnolia blossom for our drawings today. You can see from the flower that the flower is made up of a series of petals and then if we tip it over you can see on the inside you've got the uh, stamens of the flower at the centre creating its heart. And when you're drawing it's a bit like a jigsaw where you take everything apart into its individual parts and then you put them together, back together on the page. So with your eye you take things, the petals, one by one and then when you're drawing you put those petals one by one back on the page. And if you're having difficulty seeing how to replicate the shape you can help yourself again by just taking one of the elements and drawing round. Take a petal and draw around it. Um, I'm just going to finish this and I think you will see how you can create a flower shape that is very much your own. And doing this helps you understand what it is you're drawing. So you may very well need to start off by tracing around, drawing around, till you get to know, oh, that leaf is almost like an ellipse like that. It's not cheating. You're just helping yourself to be able to see what is there. So I can see inside the magnolia flower, which I really love at the moment, uh, we've got the small seeds in the centre and then the stamens coming out. So as I'm drawing, what I'm trying to do is just get my hand to draw the movement of what it is I'm looking at. So I'm looking at the stamens and I'm building those out. The ones in the little middle are almost like round dots. And where it's darker, you just shade in a little bit. And then the stamens as they come out are a wee bit longer, a bit more strandy. So we'll draw those. So from there, okay, we're on to the petals. So we're back onto line again now. And you just look at the relationships between one part and the next. Um, and it takes, takes a while to get used to, to doing this. Now I can see where you've got the shadow. Use the shadow and the light to find the form um, is useful. So I can see there, there's a lovely, the light is kind of dipped around and that helps you find the form of what it is you're looking at. And this leaf here is tucked behind these two. So what I'm doing is establishing the two that are on top and then looking at the spaces between to find where I'm going to put this leaf. And this leaf, it's starting to go over and that is creating a curl. 
then again you can use you see I'm going quite lightly here yeah this leaf is a much darker leaf so I'm going to strengthen this as I come round and then I can just see the underside of the leaf coming through so I know that comes around like that something like that might not be absolutely accurate but I don't think we need to worry about that I've never really worried about whether something is absolutely right or or not and you become aware that as you move what you see changes all the time and I think that's why I'm sort of not that worried as you as you move all the time your your drawing will change um, so don't worry about that too much so for those of you that are drawing round the petals um, use it's the same principle use what is within the shape you're looking at use the purple here and the brown of the leaf to work within each part uh, let me see if I can show you so I could see a really strong line coming down there so I'm going to put that in it's the leaf on top so let's just take this line away already this leaf now sits on top of this one so if I take away this one these two sit on top these two go behind so I can see the purple in here and it radiates out and there's brown, that brown, strong brown line there that kind of centres everything and then we've got another brown line coming in something like that So you're building up your picture based on what you see. You use what is there to gradually make sense. Okay, so I think we can leave that now here. That leaf, whoops. So here, this leaf sits inside. So the contrast there, that is light. That Where it sits behind, it's dark. And again, you've got the centre line of the petal. Coming through. And forgive me calling them leaves. I know they're petals. Uh, but I'm trying to talk and do at the same time doesn't always work that well. So do you see how that contrasts there between that light and that dark? It starts to give you a bit of form. And here we've got, oh, there's quite a nice curve on that there. So I'm going to pop that in there.
So hopefully you can see how this has travelled actually quite a long way. So this leaf comes on top, so I'm going to take away that line underneath. And hopefully you will get to feel as you're doing this that your drawing has suddenly transformed from being flat into something which is a bit more organic um, and definitely is starting to have the quality of what it is you're looking at.